I thought this job would be a great time to help explain to people how you get slope when the grade goes uphill. So here's a storm drain catch basin. We're corn down. We're three feet deep. This trench, look how deep it is. Let me see here. If I can really try to give you a shot where you can appreciate how deep the guys have dug. So the reason why this trench is so deep, we had to dig. The grade was uphill to this basin. So to have slope down to the basin, we started out we started out our 14 inches. You guys know that's our number. We like 14 inches. 14 inches deep. This here was just absolutely look at all the water in this subsoil. Look at it all. So they just got done with the dig. They're going to put the high octane in. We're also running a roof runoff system in the same trench on top of the high octane will be the Boffman Gold. So you can see now why this created just a real problem area. Beautiful house here in Washington Township, Michigan, man. I mean, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful homes in here. You know, gorgeous. I mean, brick veneer. So, a gentleman bought this home. Did not know that it came with a yard water problem. I came out and looked at it, and I said, okay, the grade goes up, and then there is a swale back there, but that's why it's so wet. So, we dig. This is uphill. We dig deeper and deeper so that we can keep our 2% slope. It's hard to explain, but it's easy to show you in a video. So, look at that. Man, that's a lot. That's crazy. So, they're on lunch. That's a lot of clay haul out. And uh, then it kind of breaks and you get a swale in the back. So, they're down about three feet there doing a core. So, I just want to take this opportunity to show you guys how you can get water to flow downhill in an uphill scenario. Alright guys, as always, stay tuned for the next video.